The occurrence of religious extremism and emergence of religious clashes in the country has become a potential threat to the country's peace and stability. Election prophecies have also compounded the situation, especially election years. At an interfaith dialogue forum held in Tamale, interacted with a youth group, religious leaders and traditional authorities, and was on the theme towards a peaceful 2016 and beyond. It is aimed at encouraging peaceful interfaith coexistence before, during, and after the 2016 general elections. The regional chairman of the Ghana Pentecostal Charismatic Council, Apostle Nikwe Jani, appealed to church leaders to avoid prophecies which are likely to create controversies in the country. I would plead that our brothers who are in position, in leadership, in our churches should be aware of the kind of utterances they make, the kind of so-called prophecies that they come out with. That says the Lord. And I think that if we would abstain from these so-called prophecies and allow God and the people to make their choice, it will help us. Because if as a man of God I speak, it carries a lot of weight. People listen to me and people know that once I say, that says the Lord, it carries weight. And so people will believe what I say. And when somebody gets entrenched in the belief of what I have said, and he doesn't win at the end of it, it leads to so many uh, uh, commotions and uh, disruptions. The paramount chief of the Sanargu traditional area, Ambassador Na Yakubu Abdullah, attributed the possible cause of violence in society to inadequate security. Personally, many a time, nah. I believe that it is the absence of the state nah. that cooks up violence nah. and not our traditions or culture. Nah. It is the absence of the state. Nah. And quite often, nah. in the most difficult circumstances, nah. when the state is, is, is present nah. in areas of conflict, it is not impartial no. as the state should be. It becomes partisan. No. Its actions are interest-based. No. And where right has no backing of power, no. a solution is never within the reach no. of the concerned people. No. No. So the state has to be present and no. impartially so. No impartially so no. and we need critical thinkers and leadership no. to make sure that this happens and we can have peace in our country the regional executive secretary of the national peace council reverend father tadios kusa advised youth groups to focus their attention on personal and community development are the ideas that influence their attitude and eventually their actions that are referred to as behavior so if you want to utilize them for the general good, that means we need to engage them. Engage them at various levels and let them understand that, yes, it's good to, have, to be together, but their being together should have the interest of the community at large and not to promote the interests of maybe one selfish individual who wants power by all means and therefore will use whatever means and very often violent means to achieve their aim. The regional interfaith dialogue was facilitated by the British High Commission in partnership with the National Peace Council. From Tamale, Nuwanash, for Vasa One News.